One of the coolest things about studying myth is also one of its biggest obstacles. Ancient texts are written in ancient languages. So for the vast majority of people, we have to rely on translations. Different versions of the same text can offer different ways of looking at that text, which is great, but that's only because there is no such thing as a perfect translation, which is less than great. So when it comes to mythology, how do people approach translation? I decided to make this video after I saw an interview with classicist and first female translator of the Odyssey, Dr. Emily Wilson. I'll link the interview down below, but the lowdown on it is, since because this poem had only been translated by men, misogynistic words and phrases had become commonplace within translations, even if they didn't have a direct correlation to the text. One of the things Dr. Wilson tried to do in her translation was weed these out for a more complex view of the poem. And of course that isn't to say that there wasn't any misogyny in the original Greek. I don't know. I studied Latin and did a pretty mediocre job of it. But it's a clear example of how modern attitudes and perspectives can shape the way we translate, interpret, and read these older stories. Dr. Wilson gets to the point really well when she says this in a New York Times article. The fact that it's possible to translate the same lines a hundred different times and all of them are defensively in entirely different ways? That tells you something. But there's also a part of me that really enjoys having multiple translations. I have three different copies of the Iliad, one by Richmond Lattimore, one by Stanley Lombardo, and one by Robert Fagels. And having studied each of them individually, I can say that each gives their own unique view of the story. Lattimore's, if I'm being honest, is kind of a drag, but it captures the poetic meter perfectly. Fagels is my boy. He translates this with enough modern flair and respectful adherence that it's both poetic and accessible. And Lombardo is really engaging with modern vocabulary that you wouldn't see anywhere else, sometimes at the cost of the meter, but always to the benefit of the narrative. Each version is imperfect on its own, but together they give a more complex view of what the Iliad is. And that's the benefit of having to translate mythology. If you have a hundred different ways to translate something, you have a hundred different gateways to look at it through. I'll see you tomorrow, Vids. Mirror stories outlive us all.